children good morning how are you children yes you all are fine and safe okay fourth class children science it's workbook part 16th lesson yes take your workbooks children the first one multiple choice question why is force applied in the given picture see the picture children yes the four options are given which one is correct you have to write there yes a for pushing b for pulling for both pushing and pulling and d for changing shape which one is correct their children yes option b what he is doing in the picture is pulling yes the first one is b yes the multiple choice question okay and second one children what is the child in the given picture doing in the picture what he is doing there are given four options you have to write the correct option yes a applying force to stop the ball applying b applying force to change the shape of the ball c applying force to change the direction of the ball d breaking the ball into two pieces which one is correct c option c applying force to change the direction of the ball option c yes and the next one is fill in the blanks children the third one depending on the applied dash objects move faster or slower what is the answer children yes it is force it is force yes the fourth one children if we press against a plastic bottle its dash will change what happens it changes its shape its shape yes and the next one is fifth one children what it is it is very short answer questions yes sixth one what type of force is shown in the picture given picture what type of what type of force is shown in this picture what it is children yes it is push it is push yes and the sixth one children how can we burst a fully blown balloon using force how can we yes by what it is by pressing it by pressing it yes and the seventh one children seventh one it is short answer question short answer question when do we need to apply force when do we need to apply force answer children we need to apply force we need to apply force to move move an object move an object yes to stop a to stop a moving to stop a moving object to stop a moving object or to change or to change the direction change the direction of an object of an object yes we also we also need force need force to change to change the shape to change the shape of an object change the shape of an object yes i am repeating the answer children we need to apply force to 
move an object to stop a moving object or to change the direction of an object we also need force to change the shape of an object yes i'm repeating the answer once again children we need to apply force to move an object to stop a moving object or to change the direction of an object we also need force to change the shape of an object i'm repeating the answer once again children we need to apply force to move an object to stop a moving object or to change the direction of an object we also need force to change the shape of an object yes i'm repeating the answer once again children we need to apply force to move an object to stop a moving object or to change the direction of an object we also need force to change the shape of an object just tell move aside children you can take the screenshot of this answers yes children next bit is 8 8 1 yes it is true or false it is true or false yes 8 1 okay a smooth surface causes more friction it is false it is false yes and the ninth one children the rain drops are pulled towards the ground by the force of friction false it is false and the 10th one children friction helps us to hold things tight yes it is true it is true and the 11th one children without friction moving things will not stop yes it is true it is true yes Eighth one, children. Once again, I am reading. Eighth one. A smooth surface causes more friction. It is false. Ninth one. The rain drops are pulled towards the ground by the force of friction. It is false. Tenth one. Friction helps us to hold things tight. It's true. Eleventh one. Without friction, moving things will not stop. It is true. Yes. The next one, children. Short answer question. It is. the next one short answer question it is 12th one yes give two examples of the force of gravity force of gravity yes the ball the ball that the ball that we throw the ball that we throw up through up comes back comes back the ball that we throw comes back towards towards the ground towards the ground yes and the rain drops the rain drops the rain drops are pulled are pulled towards towards the ground towards the ground yes i'm read i'm repeating the answer i'm reading the answer children the ball that we throw up comes back towards the ground the rain drops are pulled towards the ground i'm repeating once again children the ball that we throw up comes back towards the ground next the rain drops are pulled towards the ground yes i'm repeating the answer once again children the ball that we throw up comes back towards the ground the rain drops are pulled towards the ground yes okay children
I'm repeating the answer once again. The ball that we throw up comes back towards the ground. The raindrops are pulled towards the ground. Children, just I'll move aside. You please take the screenshot of this answer. Thirteenth one, children. How does oil help to reduce friction? Yes, answer, children. Oil forms oil forms a layer. Oil forms a layer over a surface and reduces its its roughness its roughness roughness so friction so friction is reduced so friction is reduced yes i am repeating the answer oil forms a layer over a surface and reduces its roughness reduces its roughness so friction is reduced i am repeating the answer once again children oil forms a layer over a surface and reduces its roughness so Friction is reduced. I am repeating once again, children. Children, I am repeating the answer once again. Oil forms a layer over a surface and reduces its roughness. So, friction is reduced. Yes, I am repeating the answer once again. Oil forms a layer over a surface and reduces its roughness. So, friction is reduced. Yes, just tell more aside children. You can take the screenshot of this answer. Yes, read properly children and write properly. Your writing should be good. Yes, don't write the spelling mistakes. If you write that spelling mistakes, again you will read the same thing and you will lose your marks in the exam. Yes, children, read properly and write properly and do your works in time. Okay.